All right, what's going on, guys? Willis here. We are back with another first descendant video. In this video, guys, I want to show you guys the best weapon currently in the game for every single player that you need to go get right now. Uh, if you're not wearing this weapon, you are making a mistake. Um, this is probably going to be the weapon everyone's going to be using uh, within the next few days, as soon as everyone finds out about it. It is called the Tamer. I'll show you guys how to get it in this video, show you guys the best rolls. Um, the best mods and yeah with that being said as well we are doing some huge giveaways in these video guys as well don't forget to subscribe to the channel most people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed so be sure to subscribe so you do not miss a video we're giving away stuff like the ultimate descendant bundles um as well as the battle pass so if anybody wants to battle pass leave a like on this video leave a comment and make sure to subscribe as well over in my discord we're actually giving away the ultimate uh, descendant bundles so if you go over to my discord go to the giveaways section there'll be a full section there how to enter the ultimate descendant bundle giveaway you could win yourself a ultimate descendant anyway enough yapping let's jump into it so this weapon is called the tamer it is a machine gun it is extremely powerful what makes it so powerful is obviously it has a lot of rounds in the mag obviously stuff like shotguns snipers are going to have higher dps but obviously you're going to run into ammo issues when you use these weapons obviously with the tamer it is a primary weapon so yeah primary ammo is pretty easy to find in the game as for mods we're going with a weak point damage build as judging from a lot of research over in the discord weak point damage seems to be the king so you basically want to put as much weak point mods on your weapon as possible so the number one ones you kind of want is obviously weak point sight which is the main one uh, you obviously want to use the rifling reinforcement uh, fire rate up you want stuff like pinpoint shot obviously gives weak point uh, weak point detection uh, weak point aiming uh, all this stuff that just gives weak point you want to try and get this weak point damage modifier up as much as possible um, not only is this the best for killing bosses it is also the best for just mobbing around ads and stuff like that just clearing them extremely quickly but as you know end game will pretty much be focused around doing the hard mode bosses so you want to be using this weapon for weak point damage now normally i wouldn't have this many mods on the weapon but obviously as you get into the game you do need to upgrade these mods here and obviously this is going to cost you the shards and obviously you will run out eventually so what i've basically done here is i've increased the module capacity of the weapon just so i can get some more slots and then i've basically just put in some extra purple mods but the aim of the game is to get your weak point damage up as much as possible your firearm attack damage up as much as possible and obviously you get that fire rate up as much as you can now coming over here to the workbench um, if you guys haven't visited the workbench, this is a fantastic place to basically buff up your weapons. So the weapon here is called the Tamer. It is the LMG. Now, before I even go into that, actually, I'm just going to show you guys where you can actually get it. So the Tamer is actually located in the Agna Desert. I think this is when you reach like around level uh, 50. It's in the Remnant section here. And I think it's this mission right here. Yeah, the Abandoned Reconstruction Site. It has a 50% chance to drop, so you're pretty honestly easy going into this mission. It's pretty easy to farm, and yeah, this is where you get the Tamer from. You do need to be around level 40 to 50, and you obviously need to be in the Agna Desert. So coming over to the workbench here, if you do actually manage to readjust this weapon, the things you want to go for is obviously firearm attack, weak point damage, and if you can, get firearm critical rate. If you can get an element on it, cool, but the awesome thing is this thing only uses um the adjustment control axes which are pretty easy to farm as you basically get the material from uh breaking down purple weapons so you've probably broken down a bunch of purple weapons at this point so you probably have a ton of those materials so obviously the only downside to using this weapon is when you are aiming it you are extremely slow you move extremely slow now there's no point in me showing the damage as i've only got the weapon at level 61 um if it was at level 100 i would probably show you the damage but like I said, I'm still grinding through the story, grinding up different descendants, just trying it out. I'm sort of just taking my time right now. Not really rushing ahead, which I feel like is good. But yeah, you're extremely slow when firing this weapon. Just, but just know this weapon absolutely just melts bosses. Now, unfortunately, you guys have probably run into this issue if you are sort of like mid to late game. Um, ammo is kind of like a big issue sometimes. So any characters that give you ammo, I feel like are going to be super handy. Um, I've started using Glay. Glay is extremely good. She literally just gets increased damage. She is the best gun using Descendant in the game. So 
if you guys are getting tired of bunny and you want to switch trust me glay i feel like is the best boss killing character in the game she is insane um the cool thing about glay is glay doesn't have any shield she basically just has this massive health pool so she's almost like a tank um but she almost does a ton of damage as well and the cool thing is check this out you guys are gonna this is me this is me converting everyone to glay glay can actually give you unlimited ammo with her v ability watch my ammo counter she gives you unlimited ammo for like six seconds and you can increase this to like 10 seconds so you can kind of see why i like glay so much she's pretty and anyway enough yapping about glay so if you actually come over to the access info here come over to the modules there is a module that you can get called mental focus check this out this is a ultimate mod uh it decreases your fire rate by 10 percent. that's fine but when you're using a firearm firearm attack uh 0.25 percent for two seconds up to 150 stacks so this is literally built for lmgs you can see that is nuts so if you guys can farm this go and get this i'll show you guys where to get it right now now you can pretty much get it from a bunch of different missions but here's an example we're on the hagios region right now and it's right here it's got a 4% chance to drop. Uh, it is a level 69 mission. So me, myself, I haven't even got to this area yet. But yeah, mental focus mod is going to be huge with this build. So be sure to go and get that mod if you're running this build. I haven't got it yet. So yeah, when I do, I feel like this build will be a hundred times better. But yeah, other than that, guys, I just wanted to show you guys this weapon. It's pretty insane. Um, absolutely melts bosses. I think what I'll probably do at the end is I'll probably just put some gameplay of me killing a boss. Just so you can sort of see. Um, it'll probably only be like a level 60, like the pyro boss, which I think most people are on right now. Um, yeah, just melts. Love it. All right, guys, um, be sure to like the video, leave a comment, subscribe. And once again, go and join my discord because we are giving away the ultimate bundles to people who are basically active in the discord chat. But anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. This has been Willis Gaming and peace.